This is your News 4 update, powered by the Bomarito Automotive Group. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for choosing News 4. I'm Claire Kellett. Here are some of the stories making headlines. Major developments could come this afternoon in the case against the accused Catholic supply store killer. Thomas Bruce is charged with sexually assaulting two women and killing another inside the former Catholic supply store on Manchester in West St. Louis County back in 2018. A hearing was suddenly set for this afternoon indicating Bruce may be pleading guilty. Jury selection for his trial was set to start next week. You can count on News 4 to bring you the very latest details on air and online. Happening today, the St. Louis City SC soccer team is helping people get the COVID-19 vaccine and flu shot today. The team is hosting a vaccine clinic this afternoon. It's from 1 to 5, you see, at Aloe Plaza, located at North 20th and Market Street. You show up, you get a free St. Louis City SC shirt, and you can be entered into a drawing for a free stadium tour. Heads up, starting on Sunday, this is important for so many of you, you will be required to include the area code whenever you make a phone call. 10-digit dialing becomes mandatory on Sunday. Area codes impacted include 314 in St. Louis and 618 in the Metro East. The change is necessary to accommodate the National 988 Suicide Prevention Line, which starts in July of 2022. For a quick check of your forecast, we send things down to meteorologist Kent Derhart. Well, cloudy skies on this Friday and a high temperature only of 62 degrees. A very autumny day. Autumny, that's a new word. Uh, Autumn-like day. Some sun, but mainly cloudy, especially in the metro area. There's a little more sun to the south. West winds, maybe 10 miles per hour, so not as windy as yesterday, which helps. So fast forward to tomorrow, 6 a.m., super predictor, showing a few showers, primarily over the southern part of the viewing area during the day. Now we've run all the way to 5 o'clock in the evening. So, yes, a couple of sprinkles could work through the metro area, but a lot of dry time. There will be a little more rain in the southern part of the viewing area through Saturday afternoon. Then you see in Saturday evening and Saturday night, this is 11 o'clock, we have some scattered showers, maybe a couple of thunderstorms. Then the focus on Saturday night into Sunday morning becomes the northern part of the viewing area, or really just north of the northern part of the viewing area. Some of this will slip down perhaps into parts of the viewing area and give us a chance for showers and storms. Uh-oh. Sunday afternoon into the evening, a line of powerful thunderstorms potentially, a couple of them rolling through here with a front. Now, by the time we get to Monday morning, all of this is spun out of the area for the most part. There could be a couple of sprinkles left very early, but I think things dry out during the day on Monday. May not be sunny, but we should dry out, okay? And with those storms that we get, especially Sunday afternoon into Sunday night, there is a enhanced risk, a level three of uh, on a scale of five of damaging winds, possibly large damaging hail, possibly even some tornadoes. So this is a little bit of a amplified risk over what we have seen of late. Uh, 61 degrees for the high on Saturday with that afternoon and evening rain primarily from the metro area south, let's say. The storms that are likely on Sunday, we talked about that and because of the severe risk, we're making that a weather alert day. Some early morning showers on Monday, but then drying out in 65. Uh, Tuesday looks nice, 71 and partly cloudy and back to a rain chance by Wednesday of next week. All right, thank you, Autumn e. Kent. That's your news for update. Remember, we're always online at kmovie.com and your kmovie news app.